Hi friends, welcome back to All in Law. Today I'm going to talk about MSAFP. This is a quick OBGYN. So this is maternal serum alpha fetoprotein. Okay. So this is a really very important topic for a medical student and for what do you call it for even even for USMLA paying students also. So let's talk about this. So the, what are the important points I'm gonna uh, for important for USMLA and for medical students? I'm gonna highlight here. So remember the MSAFP. There's a maternal serum AF, uh, alpha fetoprotein is done around the gestational age. Really very important. That's around 15 to 20 weeks. Okay. So 15 to 20 weeks. That's really very important. Okay. So remember the, how it is measured is measured in MOM that's multiples of median okay and it's always a part of what you call multiple marker screening okay so these are the important things the two possibilities either if you measure the MSAFP it can be elevated or it can be low okay so let's talk about what happens when there is elevated MSAFP the two possibilities MSAFP one it can be elevated raised in the blood or it can be low right so what happens when it's raised what's that remember when its value is the MSAFP value is more than 2.5 mom there's a multiples of medium okay it's known as the positive high or elevated MSAFP what's the next step here I would like to tell you if it's low it's less than 0.8 mom multiples of median then it's known as low okay so here we are talking first we'll talk about the elevated one okay the MSAFP more than 2.5 mom is known as uh, what you call positive high value okay and what are the next step that you should do when you find this value on a lab reports order for what you call obstetric ultrasound okay why we do because you should confirm the date you should confirm the gestational age that's really very important because sometimes uh, mother might not be knowing that uh, whether she is on a 20 weeks, 18 weeks, 15 weeks, okay? So you should confirm by doing uh, ultrasound, okay? So you will confirm the date whether it's, a re whether it's true or not, okay? For example, if the what you call uh, the most common cause, remember, for an elevated MSAFP is dating error. So most common cause for elevated is dating error error dating error okay very important right so let's talk about the changes okay if the true gestational age is more advanced than assumed gestational age okay it would explain the positive high value remember this is very important okay so if you do ultrasound ultrasound okay and confirm the date, confirm the date, CD, there's a confirm the date. What you need to do is a still high if the dates are correct, if the dates are correct and no explanation is seen on the sonogram. What you need to do is perform amniocentosis. Amniocentosis, amniocentosis, okay. So remember, if the dates are correct, if dates are correct, okay right okay what if the dates are incorrect if dates are incorrect incorrect I see I will write as uh, dates are incorrect what you need to do is just repeat MSAFP repeat MSAFP okay or repeat the value okay the normal what you call MSAFP will be reassuring okay so dating error is the most common cause. So if we find dating error on ultrasound, you have to repeat the MSAFE. If the dating error dates are correct, 
do the amniocentesis. Amniocentesis for what? For amniotic fluid, amniotic fluid, AFP, alpha fetoprotein. You have to measure that. And the other thing what you need to look for is acetylcholinesterase. Acetylcholinesterase. Okay. So you have to measure the two things. So remember if the elevated levels of what you call alpha fit uh, sorry amniotic fluid um, acetylcholinesterase, then what does it indicate? It indicates the patient might have open neural tube defect NTD okay with unexplained elevated MS AFP but normal if AFP is normal okay and it's statistically risk for remember if AFP is a normal still the MS AFP is elevated but the AFP is normal AFP is normal then you have to tell the pregnancy statistically risk for intrauterine IUGR intrauterine growth restriction stillbirth okay and preeclampsia okay guys so these are the important things uh, if MSAFP is high, dates are correct, amniocentesis performed, and AFP, AFP is also normal, then the pregnancy, she is risk for IUGR, stillbirth, and the preeclampsia, okay? So this is really very important I'm talking over here, guys, okay? Uh, okay. Let's move on to the what you call low uh, MSAFP. Low MSAFP. Okay, if the low MS AFP, there's a maternal serum, it's low means it's less than 0.85 MOM, multiples of medium. Okay, the next step what you do, always remember you have to see whether the dates are correct or not, so you have to do ultrasound. Okay, do the ultrasound to confirm the gestational age. Okay. The most common cause for low MSAFP is again the dating error. Remember, even for an increased or elevated MSAFP, the most common cause is dating error. So that's why we do ultrasound. Okay. If the true gestational age is less than assumed gestational age, sorry. Okay. If the true gestational age is less than what you call an assumed gestational age, it would explain the positive low value. You know very well. Okay. In case of dating error, okay in case of dating error de okay dates are incorrect or dating error okay repeat the msafp same thing what we did do in the, what we did in the elevated amsp okay low if the pregnancy is still within the window okay normal msafp will be reassuring if the dates are correct Dates are correct. DC dates are correct. No explanation is seen on sonogram. No abnormality seen on a sonogram. So what you need to do, you have to do, is amniocentesis. But here we are doing amniocentesis, not for AF, um, AF alpha you know, amniotic fluid AFP or elevated cholinesterase activity, but for karyotyping. For karyotyping. Tapping. okay guys so this is really very 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 important that you should know about okay if there is a low MS AFP um, what do you what do you have to do do the ultrasound confirm the dates if the date or error date error is found then repeat the MS AFP again um, if dates are correct do any synthesis for karyotyping and try to know the cause for that okay so this is really very important so remember if the AFP is elevated okay and normal is a N-steral, and what you call SCG, the most common dating error, NTD, then we have what you call uh, other features, right? So if AFP is low, estriol is low, and but the SCG is elevated, then it's a Down syndrome or a dating error. Remember, Down syndrome or a dating error. So if AFP is low, estriol is also low, and the SCG is also low, then it's either the dating error 
or adverse syndrome okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much take care